Today's a big tech day. Apple launching their new mobile wallet system. It's called Apple Pay. It's a high tech way to buy things with your iPhone. Mm -hmm. Even the most tech savvy folks out that use this. <laughs> No, anyway, that's my sign one. of, I'm not so sure about this. <laughs> a lot of <laughs> folks are wondering, like Rena, is this safe? ABC's tech contributor, Tina Tran, investigates. Apple is banking on Apple Pay. Good morning. CEO Tim Cook Good took morning. the stage at last week's event to discuss the new feature that will allow Everything users to pay for things with their iPhone, iPhone 6, 6 instead of using a physical debit or credit card. It's an easy, it's secure, and yes, it's a private way to pay for things. But is it? Jennifer Lawrence and Kate Upton would probably disagree. Their photos turned out to be not so private after hackers accessed them, allegedly through the company's cloud server. So what does that mean for your sensitive financial information? Apple thinks partnering with American Express, MasterCard, and Visa will help. You're using the same global network and you're using the same uh, security technologies that Visa has introduced and used for more than 50 years. With Apple Pay, users are assigned a digital account number or token that replaces their actual account number. You as a consumer are actually able to initiate usage of it only from that device. If somebody has that token number, but they don't have your device or they're not you, then they cannot originate a payment with it. The iPhone 6 uses NFC technology, which stands for near field communication. A chip inside the phone senses when it's physically near an NFC enabled card reader, and that initiates the transaction. Apple adds another layer of security with its Touch ID fingerprint reader, which has to be activated at the same time in order to pay. Now you've created incentive for somebody to figure out how to copy your fingerprint. Adam Doby works for InCap Security, which offers authentication solutions for the banking sector. He says that while fingerprint scans are convenient, once hacked, they can't be changed like passwords or PIN codes. Once I have that, I have your fingerprint forever. I have it for the rest of your life. Doby feels Apple's multi-layered approach to security is a step in the right direction. But the new technology opens the door for new threats from hackers. If history has shown us anything, they will find a way uh, to attack one single point, just like they've just brutalized passwords uh, across almost every enterprise. In this brave new world of mobile payments, perhaps users should refer to the age-old adage of buyer beware. Tina Trin, ABC News, New York. Good advice. But you know McDonald's, Whole Foods, Walgreens have all signed up for this. Big companies. Who, who still is on board with this? Technology is great, but it doesn't work a lot of You're going to get hacked. We're going to be doing this story in about six <laughs> months. <laughs> we'll hold them to it. Yeah.